This is a training video to give you a general overview. This is our ViewTech command module. On this video, we're going to talk about the buttons and their functions. We're going to detail out each button and what function it provides. Okay, on the left hand side of the front of the command module, you're going to see a series of five buttons. The one in the middle is your system power. That will actually turn your ViewTech system on, which I will do now. Press it in once. You'll see a red light turn on. Give your system a second and you'll see your picture. Okay, other buttons on the left hand side besides system power. To the left of the system power button you're going to see two uh, that look like light bulbs. Those control your camera head brightness actually in the camera. Push in the up button to make your camera headlights go up and push the down button to make the camera headlights go down. It's important to note that each time you press it, it'll step up a level or down a level. If you push and hold, it won't actually do anything. You have to push it each time you want the camera headlights to go up or down. To the right of the system power, you're going to see two buttons. One's called POS or position, and another is reset. These will control where your counter is on the screen. There's five different areas it can be center, lower right, upper right, upper left, lower left, or off. Reset is this if you're in a pipe and you want to reset your distance counter back to zero go hit this button and your distance counter will reset to zero move along to the right side of your command module you'll see a series of three buttons here okay on the left is your mic button all you have to do is press that your mic will go active and then anything you say will be picked up by the microphone and be able to be heard on the recording. The speaker button is for playback of your videos only. If you do have audio on your on your videos, you'll actually hear it through this speaker here. In the center is our on-demand recording button. To, this will activate your recorder. To turn it on, all you do is press it once and you'll see a red flashing light telling you to wait. Please allow our recorder to actually boot up. When it is ready to go, you'll see the red wait light stop blinking and the power one will stay illuminated. Now the power button is green, you are ready to record. Now we're going to talk about these center indicator lights, okay? The top one is called charging on. And the green light flashing indicates that your unit is actually charging at this time. It's important to note you will not see a green light flashing unless your system is on. If your system is off, no lights will be illuminated, but your unit is still charging. Only will you see this light if your system is on and plugged in and charging the battery. The one below that is called a power low. If that is flashing yellow at you, that means your system is in danger of losing power, meaning the battery is about to die, something like that. The one below that is called a microphone button or mic on. That is just an indicator to you that your mic is turned on. As you can see, it will illuminate blue when your mic is active. When your mic is off, the light is off. Very simple, easy, quick guide. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the built-in text writer that comes standard with all ViewTech units. The to access your text writer, all you need to do is press this button here, Mark Text Writer. And there's four pages. There's three that are built in. The first one is just your home page, which doesn't have any access to text. Page two is where you enter your company information. Page three is where you enter your client's information. And page four is a free text page, which means you can type in anything you want. For example, if you see roots in a line and you want to Note that somewhere you can just type in roots in line. To cycle through the pages, you can either select the exact page you want to go to, or you can continue to press this button, Text Writer, and it will cycle through for you. This is our USB port. This is where you plug in your removable USB drive that comes standard with all ViewTech orders in order to record to it. Okay, right now we're looking at the back of our ViewTech command module. This is actually called our Quick Connect Center. 
This is the main area where you're gonna hook up your frame. You can charge your unit. You can stream the video in and out. You can test your camera. Starting at the left, this is our main system connection. Here's where you plug in your 10 foot extension cord from your frame. The main system power port is where you're actually going to charge your unit or run it. What that means is when you want to charge your battery that's internal, this is the port that you plug in your 110 power supply to. Okay, this is important to note that this one is what you plug into the wall. These two ports are video in and out. You can stream the video from this unit to something external like a DVD player, a TV, a computer, whatever you need. This is called our USB to PC port. This is for units only with a built-in hard drive system. It's important to note, do not plug your USB in here. It will not record to that. You plug your USB into the front above the LCD. This is only for units with a built-in hard drive so that you can plug it in directly to a computer and share files. This is a camera test port. All of our systems have built-in troubleshooting. You can plug your camera in here, your sonde in here, to make sure that they are functioning. There is another video where you can go through all of those steps. And the last one we'll talk about is auxiliary system power port. That is to plug your unit in and bypass charging the battery. That one is used for a car charger, something to run off a cigarette lighter in a vehicle, which we do have cords available for that. That is a general synopsis of our Quick Connect Center. You might have noticed on the back of your ViewTech command module that we've installed a guide for you to show you exactly what your system lights mean. For every button that has a light on the front, there's a guide. For instance, system power button, there's two lights. If it's on, a red light will be illuminated. If it's off, there will be no light. Your on-demand recording button, if there is no light, your recorder is off. If there's a green light, your recorder is on. If it's a red flashing light, it wants you to wait while your recorder turns on. And a blue microphone light will be on if your microphone is active. The charging light, a full charge, your light will remain constantly green. If it's charging, it will flash green. If it's not charging, there will be no light. Your power low light. Normal means it's off, which means you have plenty of power and everything's fine. If your power is low, it'll be a half second on, half second off. Also, that light will indicate if you have a system fault. System fault blink is different than the power low blink. System fault blink will be one second on, one second off repeatedly. If there are any further questions, please contact ViewTech. Thank you.